Uh, we're working to to find ways to plus the game to make it look different. Uh, constantly meeting with our design team who do such a fantastic job. I see people saying, hey, hints. Why not hints? Uh, there is a hints video coming out for tomorrow's game. That'll be out about 7 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow on the Swagbucks official Instagram. Make sure you're following us at Swagbucks official on there. People enjoying the Vivaldi that is accompanying the lobby music this week. But we asked what your go-to psych-up song is. And you did not disappoint as you always uh, come through with these. We had Fian's Mommy who said Rise Up by Andra Day. Beatrix 309, Ain't Nothing Gonna Break My Stride by Matthew Wilder. Danielephant, Gonna Fly Now, a.k.a. the Rocky theme song. Boy, that's that's just a great one to get you pumped up. Makes you want to run down the streets and run up the stairs of the art museum in Philadelphia and raise your hands in victory. Now, Tricky likes It's Tricky by Run DMC for obvious reasons. It's a great way to announce that you've entered a room. Tricky! E Still Crew, 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars, another great song. Gets the blood flowing. Barbs 13, Get This Party Started by Pink. Let's get this party started. We're going to do that real soon right here. Swag Larry S, Level Up by Vienna Tang. Never heard of that one, but Larry is uh, is recommending it, so I might have to go check it out. And Ruby Kisses said, Soak Up the Sun. By Cheryl Crow, I hope you soaked up plenty of sun, but for right now, you want to shield your phone from the sun so you can see everything going on on your screen. And hey, it's Buy a Musical Instrument Day, so march to the beat of your own drum while you play the Wednesday edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Fiddle with the information in your brain as you play for a piece of today's grand prize. Take a look. That is $1,000. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions will split it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, here's how it works. If you win the game today, then the bonus SB that you've been earning throughout will be automatically added on top of your share of that grand prize. If you don't win the game today, you can still earn those bonus SB, but you do have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. It's simple to do, though, folks. You just stick around to the end and click the button that appears on your screen, so don't leave early. The first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. You can do that either using SB or with a free rejoin. If you click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening, you can get free rejoins by watching videos. But, of course, this is a very special week. This is a second chance week. What does that mean? It means you're getting three free rejoins for each game you play credited before the following game begins. So everybody who played yesterday, you got a rejoin to go, a free rejoin ready to go, plus two more for future games, and uh, you will be credited after this game. You're going to have more free rejoins. You're just stacking them up if you keep coming back. Finally, each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. These are our winners from Tuesday's game. Congratulations. You have all been credited already. Well done. And thank you for playing. The rest of you were like, why isn't that my name? Well, it could be your name if you stick around, keep playing and claiming. It's as simple as that. The next winner could be you. All right, the comments are off to get their cello restrung. Let's take a look at that prize again just because it looks so pretty to me. Comments taking a hike right now because we need to get this game started, especially for the one person saying, hurry up, I heard you. Here's question number one. What mint milkshake gets an annual limited release at McDonald's? Is it the Shamrock Shake, the Green Dream, or the Minty Monster? McDonald's annual Limited release, limited run. So be sure to time your Mickey D's trip properly so that you can score one of those Shamrock Shakes. The Shamrock Shake is the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. Well done. Uh, now, as someone who loves mint as a flavor, especially mint and chocolate, I have to say I'm always disappointed. Every time I get a Shamrock Shake, but that's just between you and me. We have over 16,275 people in grand prize contention. 
and every question y'all get right from here on out is worth one bonus SB. So here we go. It's question number two. Gwen Stefani is married to which colleague from The Voice? Is it Adam Levine, Niall Horan, or Blake Shelton? Which one of those is her husband? And he's going, my wife. He's entirely country. She's a little bit rock and roll and a little bit punk and a little bit hip hop and maybe a little bit ska as well. But Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton make it work. Anyway, Blake Shelton, the answer I'm looking for, 91% of you getting that one right. Adam Levine, I, if he is married, and I think maybe he is at this point, uh, it is certainly not to Gwen Stefani. Uh, sorry for those of you who try to match those two up. She went for Blake, and Blake went for her. Let's move on to question number three now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. White light going into a prism and coming out a rainbow is an example of what phenomenon? Is it refraction, retention, or reignition? When white light goes into a prism and comes out a rainbow, what is happening? Refraction, retention, or reignition? When the light hits the prism, it gets deflected, leading to an indirect exit instead of it just being a straight path through. And uh, when it doesn't pass through and it instead indirectly exits, that's a little something we like to call refraction in the science biz. Refraction is the answer. 97% of you getting that one right. Well done. That light being broken apart into uh, the different spectra. Spectrum. You can see the whole spectrum, the rainbow. You can taste the rainbow almost, but don't eat prisms. Let's move on to question number four now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Thinking about the immortality of the crab is a way to say you're daydreaming in what language? Is it Mandarin, Italian, or Spanish? Thinking about the immortality of the crab is a way people who speak a certain language say that you're daydreaming. Now, I'd never thought of it until now, but are crabs immortal? Do they skitter among us like sages until we cook them up with actual sage? Maybe that Spanish phrase is on to something. Spanish is your answer. And whoa, 14% of you getting that one right. That was indeed a brutal question. 86% of you eliminated. But I bet most of you have free rejoins because you've been playing during Second Chance Week, right? Of course. And look, I'm right. Most of the people eliminated have already rejoined. And almost all of them using free rejoins to do it. We have over 13,400 people in grand prize contention. As we move on to our halfway point, it's question number five, worth one bonus SB. What are the two letters commonly used in a game of tic-tac-toe? Is it X and O, J and K, or W and T? When you play tic-tac-toe, one side is one letter, the other side is the other. Your goal is to beat your opponent, but don't forget that it's all love, right down to the hug and kiss symbols that are duking it out. One person is X, other person is O. X and O is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right. XO, XO, XO. Congratulations. We are already halfway done this game. What do you say we move on to question number six? It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What variety of owl is known for its piercing shriek? Is it the barred owl, the great horned owl, or the barn owl? We have a barred, great horned, and barn owl. One of them is known for shrieking. The best answer to this would be the owl that's never around. But if you live on a farm, you've got more than roosters to deal with. If you have one of those screeching barn owls on your property, the barn owl is the shrieking owl. 41% of you getting that one right. The great horned owl might be one of those like, I don't know how good of a great horned owl that is, but let's just assume that it's spot on. Of the 59% of you eliminated on that one, we got about 1,100 of you back in, down to 6,400 people in grand prize contention with four questions left to go. Next one, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's question number seven. In tennis, what is the term used for a score of zero? Is it zilch, love, or hate? Which of those words stands in for zero in a game of tennis? The term has nothing to do with your affection for the game or your opponent. It comes from the French for the egg, which is what a zero resembles. Luff, which has evolved into love. Love is the answer. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. Now, zilch is a word for zero, but it is not the tennis term it's used. You usually say uh, 40 love or love 40, not 40 zilch or zilch 40. And that's just a, a free lesson for those of you who didn't know. Now you know. 
So you at least got some information out of that. We're moving on to question number eight worth one bonus SB if you get it right. When a band called the Sex Maggots weren't allowed to put their name on a marquee, what did they change it to? Did they become the Goo Goo Dolls, Nine Inch Nails, or Limp Biscuit? They were originally called the Sex Maggots. And then they became something else entirely. Sometimes the snarkiest responses to censorship give us great names. Sure, they weren't sex maggots anymore, but the name Goo Goo Dolls widened their audience quite a bit. Goo Goo Dolls is the answer. 51% of you get it that run right. I want to wake up where you are. Isn't that? That's Goo Goo Dolls, right? Isn't slide Goo Goo Dolls? I, I can't hear you and I don't have the comments on, so... Uh, hopefully I was right on that one, and 51% of you got that one right, and we are on to our second-to-last question worth one bonus SB. Here's question number nine. Whose superhero alter ego is Iron Man? Is it Dr. Donald Blake, Tony Stark, or Steve Rogers? Which one of those people becomes Iron Man? Who else could afford to build all those versions of the armor except for genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist, Tony Stark? Tony Stark is the answer. 3,007 of you knew that one, and you are ready for our final question. But before we get to that final question, you know, right, that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of these live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge, our other game mode that is a quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both of those will get you SB towards your daily goal, but when you click More Ways to Earn, that gets you the Tap Joy wall. Do your daily Tap Joy, folks. Build winning habits. Check Daily Discover off of your to-do list every single day easily. And watch those SB rack up faster than you thought were possible. Now, Memorial Day is a time to stop, reflect, and honor all the brave service members who lost their lives defending our country. It's also a time when you can enjoy summer savings and active duty and retired military veterans and their spouses can enjoy additional discounts. This week and through May 29th, save on washers and dryers and so much more for your laundry room at Lowe's. Lowe's also has deals on items for your outdoor space, from Memorial Day sales on grills and patio furniture to American flags and roses for your garden. They really have it all. Find some of the best Memorial Day sales at your Lowe's hardware store. And get up to 10 get up to 10% cash back when you shop online through Swagbucks. These Memorial Day deals won't last forever. You will have until the 29th, which, if I'm not mistaken, is next Wednesday. So you got a week. Make sure you take advantage while you can, and why not go early so that you have that patio furniture and that grill ready to go for Memorial Day. It's easy. That's We got our grill at Lowe's. We got a, a killer deal on it, and it was during Memorial Day last year. I wish we'd done it this year and gotten that 10% cash back, but you can pick up the slack uh, from where I failed. All right. We have 3,030 people who are vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 16,500 of you have stuck around to the end. And there is one more bonus SB up for grabs if you can correctly answer question number 10. Here it is. Uggs is primarily known for making what? Is it boots, bread, or modems? Uggs. That's the kind of name you, you just want to say it like that. You want to say Uggs. What are they known for making? Flo Rida must have had a sponsorship deal with Uggs since in his song Low, he talks about apple bottom jeans and Uggs' specialty, the boots with the fur. Boots is the answer. 3,011 of you knew that one, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Congratulations. Well done. Great job on that last question. Let's meet some of our grand prize winners. Each of you taking home 34 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Foamstrom, you are a winner. Sugar Cakes, congratulations. Fasherm, you did it. Daisy Summers, you are a winner. Weaver, Lisa, 95. Mindy Poo, and Brent Clemens. Just a few of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to every single one of you. And to those of you who didn't get a piece of the grand prize but claimed your bonus SB, you know what to do with the SB you have, don't you? Of course you do. Redeem them for PayPal, cash, or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You have done it again. Thank you for playing today. Come back Thursday, that is tomorrow, for a whole new game. This has been Daily Trivia Live, and have a great evening, everybody.